Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start wearing wellies and using that thing. Bloody covered. But I can wait one sec because that <laughs> I've got that done. So that's us for today. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Somehow even more colder than Monday. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a chilly start, but um, I'll catch up where we didn't get to film yesterday because the GoPro died, so I'll spin you around. We've uh, dad has toothed out all the half bricks, so and we've also propped it up with an acro just to be just to keep it safe overnight. And we've put in this insulation here just to keep all this stuff from blowing out because it's that, it's that uh, loose stuff that likes to blow away. So we've backed it up with some insulation to keep that all, keep it all in. And this will be my job today. Once uh, once we get this mix on, I'll be getting, I'll be getting the brickwork done in this, get it insulated. We've, uh, and I think dad's task will be this, I think. Either this or the starting on the steel in there. Oh, I've also got to point up the top of that because we run out of water. So I'll go help Dad unpack and we'll get started. Right, and as you know, we're back to our, our standard mixes with our red sand. And obviously not in ton bags now, so we're back to our little, our Fairwoods bags. So uh, it's getting back into that old system of things. I'm, I was thinking, where's my gauging bucket? I don't need them now with these bags. So, so obviously now that we're on these, our new gauge, if you will, is a full mix is now four and a half of these 25 kilogram bags to a full bag of cement. Because they used to do them in I think 40 or 50 kilogram bags, but they've dropped it back down to 25 now. So that's why it looks like there's more sand than there is. It's because they're in smaller bags. So I'll get this mixed up. Now, as you saw, we've got the timber down off the conservatory. So once I've got this in, Dad's gonna get started on that block work. I'm gonna get started on the brickwork. Let's get mixing. There we go, mix is ready. Let's get this dished out now and we'll get started. Take you over now. There we go. Dad's been busy. We've, uh, he's got the carpet drawn, but well, what have you got done, Dad? <laughs> and the brickwork. Right, so I'll hand you over to Dad and we'll, uh, we'll get cracking.
so it is after break time dad has got the front bit up to DPC now he just needs to get the inner leaf done but for that he needs some cuts so we need some fun. we need some good air uh, we need some good cutting edge and uh, what better than a stilly hey we got a stilly oh. full full of fuel got, a, got its brand new blade on and we're ready to give it a this will be its first time being used but finally did it we got one so obviously uh i'm gonna let dad try it first i don't want to be the, the uh, tester for this so we've got the we've got the hose ready to connect it up so we've got a nice water connection dad i believe has moved the van we're gonna get our ear defenders i'm gonna give this thing a bit of a spin So we'll get we'll get it set up so you can watch our first uh, cutting with the uh, skelly. Fingers crossed. So, how would you review your still saw? Love it, Graham. Soaked. Oh. That's the not so fun bit. Maybe wear wellies when you're cutting with it. Yeah, I think so. And then, anytime you can't, no thoughts down across the road. Bloody hell. It's all a learning curve. Now I've got to try and get everything to dry out. At least it's a bit windy. That's spare. Spare, right. Those off cuts can go. Can you skip? Which one's these? These, everything else is needed. Right. Well, there you go. Everything's all cut. There we go. That's most of the cuts. You've got the 260s for the return, which is the end of the wall. Then you've got the 145s that are the, uh, that close the cavity off if you like. So you've got 260, and then you've got your full block, and then you've got a 140. So they're all just there drying out. Nice and sunny, nice and windy, so they should be drying out soon. Got our 200 mil pad stones cut. So I've cut everything down there with the still saw next to the gully and just washed it all away so I'm the dirtiest so when um, so next after I've turned the radio down there we go so I've also cut these ones down 140 splits 
to get this up to DPC. So that's a full block on top of that now, and then we're going to bring that through level. Damp course, then fiber light blocks on the top, on the inside skin. But once this skin's up, I'm going to cover it up with a bag or a dust sheet or something and get this cut. That's got to be cut and that's got to go. So basically this, in, this outside skin carries on through and then the internal skin will carry on through past that and connect it with the inside skin inside the kitchen. And then as you'll see there, there's a mark there, that's the nib for the steel. Don't know why it's that size, but that's what the engineers specified. So that's what size it's going to be. 665 from the outside face to the... Uh, yeah, it's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Carrying 7 rafters off the roof. But anyway, that's it. So I'll put you on time. That's how we get these in. Get this levelled up. And then get this, uh, this, this cut done out of the way. It shouldn't take long that because these bricks, it just flies through these bricks. They're dead soft. So I'll catch you in a bit. There we go, that's cut. Jesus, I think I'd rather take my chance with the dust. Look at the state of it. That's with the water suppression on. Obviously not ideal inside a conservatory, but I've protected it as best I could. So when you, most of the water went down the cavity, and then you've got the overspray going out to it. It's a bit where it's protected. Oh. What a mess. Oh no. It went down the wall alright. Look at the state of that. That's something to be messed to uh, fixed up. It's run down the wall and took the joint out. Oh well. As Alex keeps saying, it's all a learning curve. That's as far as down as we could get because I forgot to do it earlier. Should have done it earlier, that wouldn't have happened then. But anyway, I'm going to get these ties drilled in now. Gauge is marked on the wall, or it was. It was until all that frigging. Um, now I'm gonna have to remark it. The uh, all the orange water has ruined that. Anyway, let's get cracking on that. Uh, yeah, when I start wearing wellies, I'm using that thing. Bloody covered. I think we need hosing down the door, everything. Anyway, I'm carrying on with this. 
Alex is taking this down now because we can't do this internal wall until that's gone because the internal wall passes through onto the internal wall of the house. So we're just getting that down, getting rid so we can get a bit of block work on the inside today as well. He's just taking that down as well so we can get a bit of ins so we can get some block work on the inside as well. Put you on time lapse, you can get both of us then.
There you go. Uh, seven courses, which is, well, seven plus four courses of Imperial Bricks, more like eight. That was a stretch for seven Newton block, especially for my little legs. So we're at the top of the profile now. I might just put a cone up there for tomorrow instead of putting the profile back up. And then it's inside then to try and use some mortar upon the internal block work, try and get some of that up. We're going to use this mix up and then we'll probably need more sand tomorrow. We've got loads of cement because we didn't mix our own concrete, but we'll probably need a bit of sand. So we're um, uh, Alice is going to join to all this up for me and I'm going to head inside and start that block work. So I'll see you inside. Some oh well, uh, you've heard, you, you heard it from uh, the boss. You need small blocks soon, but as you can see, running well, Dad's on the inside now. So while he's getting that set up, I'm trying to I'm loading him up and tidying up some of this mess. You can see we've cut the wall off now. Yeah, that's where the wall returned. So now it's continuous wall all the way through. We'll take this thing out and we'll continue the insulation through, so it's a continuous cavity. There you have it. As you can see there at the bottom, there's where the block is. And as you can see, it's a 50 mil cavity <coughs> because we've got to follow the existing, which is a 50 mil cavity. So when we take this wall out, well, there'll be a nib on it, but the, the wall will line up 50 mil all the way through. So you have it, we'll have that nib and those bricks will be our nib and the rest of it's coming out tomorrow, hopefully. So. I'll stick you back on time lapse so you can watch Dad's progress and I'll get him loaded out. Uh, no still saw, no water suppression in here tomorrow. No. <laughs> Just a uh, good, good old Titan. Yes. Catch you on the time lapse. Stitch drill it.
for one. Well, I'll tell you what, you've only, you've only gone and done it. Yes. So that is the whole of the inside done. Yeah. Which is uh, quite an achievement. So well done. It's, it's Sarah. Yeah. My sister's calling. Told you she was a baby. But I can wait one sec because that, <laughs> I've got that done. So that's us for today. Now we're just going to get tidied up and uh, tomorrow blasting that out and then once that steel's in get the front done and get that uh, window finished so we'll catch you tomorrow